Today we are going to talk about the expedition mode. You can navigate here through the campaign tab. Here are some of the rules of the expedition mode. This is a game mode that is very unique in Rise of Kingdoms where you can actually challenge yourself in a scenario that is not the usual going against other players. There are plenty of rewards that can be obtained from the medal store, such as like resources, speed ups, starlight sculptures that can help you to improve your commanders, and also commander sculptures that can be summoned in game. For you to earn the perfect score or earning 3 stars, you must achieve your mission target to gain a perfect score. A great tactical march to deploy here is having your AoE commanders such as like Yi Song Ye, Zun Tu, Eight of Fled, which we are going to talk about as well how you can obtain Eight of Fled through the expedition mode. Using Joan of Arc is also great as she can provide buff to the allied troops and having a tank is also a perfect choice as a tank can absorb a lot of the damages within the battle. Within the battle, what I would recommend is to send your tank out first as he will be the one to tank all the damages within the battle and then slowly send your other marches behind your tank. This game mode is perfect for you to practice your battle skills. As you can see, our AOE are doing their work in here. As you can also see, Joan of Arc is also providing buff for her allies in here, dealing a better result within this battle. And then what you're going to have a result is that you are going to have a full and perfect score and you can claim the rewards on each stage. If you want to start obtaining Aethel Fled, you must try to complete these game modes, which has the battle marker and also the shield marker. Within the game mode of the shield marker, you're going to be defending your city. A great commander tip in here is using a commander that has a garrison ability such as like Zun Tu, and which I have here as a secondary also is Yuji. Using Zun Tu is also great because he is a AoE commander, which we have mentioned early on that he is a great for crowd controlling. We also have another march outside the city which can chase down whatever waves are coming in through that is going to be attacking the city, so we can definitely win easily. Within the game mode of the battle marker, you are going to be rallying an enemy city. A great commander to suggest in here is using conquering commanders such as like Scipio Africanus or even Baybars. I will use a secondary march in here just to protect our rally. As your rally marches, what you should try to do is to protect it and attack the nearby opponents and eliminate them as fast as you can. After you have eliminated these swarms of troops, your rally will now be more efficient by attacking its target. A few things that can help you to succeed in the expedition mode is by using some of your boost in here, like troop expansion, enhancing attack, enhancing the defense and also by activating your war frenzy will help you within the expedition mode as it will give you plus three percent troop attack you can simply activate your war frenzy by scouting any enemy cities within the kingdom now a key thing to remember within the expedition every five mission that you complete you will be able to gain the first completion rewards that will contain a legendary commander sculpture and as well as a dazzling starlight sculpture. Now that you understand how expedition works, you are now ready to set your journey in Rise of Kingdoms to be a true rocker.